Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Here's an image of Old Faithful from yesterday taken from the static webcam. These are still images that are all put together. I only counted six eruptions yesterday at Old Faithful and it's supposed to go up about every 90, 91, 92 minutes. Yeah, very unusual. The activity is, yeah, getting less and less. In the last week on this map, including the Sawtooth Mountain Range and also up by Helena, Montana, uh, USGS is reporting only 68 earthquakes. The most recent was a magnitude 4.2 by Soda Springs. And that occurred late last night at 1135 Central Daylight Time. 132 people reported feeling this earthquake. There's been others since then. Here is a spectrogram view of that 4.2 earthquake as it came in at the fishing bridge. This is a borehole, borehole 208, which is at least 500 feet under the ground there at Yellowstone Lake. Little West Thumb had more activity. Look at that. And I brought up hot gases and magma. And at the promontory, and I've talked about the promontory and the activity going on there. This is the reaction that it had from the Soda Springs earthquake. But there was another one that they are not reporting. This was at 1247 or about universal time. Here we have Yellowstone Lake. There's the line of melt. Remember, I talked about these pockets of melt. Um, not all rock melts at the same temperature. And there's areas where we have these pockets of melt. Some are 5 and some are 35% melted rock. Over here we have West Thumb. You can see the gases that came up. And the promontory. And there's that line of melt. Let's look at the signature right there. And I'm going to go back so you can see the signature of this other one. Okay. That was a 4.2. This one is not being reported. The 4.2 and this one, I both posted to Twitter. You can follow me and support my work on Twitter and on Patreon. Um, yeah, I know I'm shadow banned. Someone recently posted about one of the uh, videos I put it out, how I'm being shadow banned. This is the earthquake they're not reporting. It's extracted from the line of the promontory. Doesn't look like it's got a P wave and... This, according to um, the program I'm using, is where they're saying this earthquake occurred. Let me zoom in here. I'm going to try and zoom in on these coordinates. So give me a second here. It's a 44.329. Uh, that would be north. And 110.285. West and let's see where it takes us. All right, let's zoom in on it. Oh, now it's saying it came from the promontory. All right, let's put that in. I would have to guess maybe a magnitude 1.5, maybe a little smaller. Here on this information, it says the promontory uh, magnitude not compiled to something I recently discovered about this program that I'm using. J. Emesis, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. You guys that follow me know because of being dyslexic, I have a hard time pronouncing words. But there's the program up there. So using Google Earth, I marked that location. Um, I want to cover, well, yeah, we got magma coming up. And I've talked about the rhyolite dike intrusion that's been trying to come up there at the lake and how we got spreading at the lake. But I want to cover this 4.2 earthquake and the uh, quakes that have been happening along the Sawtooth um, fault system, the mountain range there. So we have uplift and it's not surprising. This is an area of what they call half garbon um formation, rock formation, mountain forming formation, valley forming formation, and there's spreading of the continental divide there going on. 
So one side drops down, the other side pops up. And here we got the foot wall, and it shows how we got spreading going on. So we have this fault zone. You can see I tried to draw it out in red, and it goes all the way up to China Cap, and it goes all the way down and joins up with the uh, Wasatch Fault Line. Here we got Bear Lake, and it goes all the way down um, to Salt Lake City and Salt Lake. There's a lot of things happening in this area. Um, we have a shortening of the fault line because of the uplift there that's occurring at Yellowstone Super Volcano, the caldera. It probably extends all the way up to the Snake River Valley Fault System. Yeah, I got a lot of different faults drawn out here. Here we got Idaho Falls. That's within the area of uplift. See that? Now that is from, oh, I forget what year, 2015. The red line is the area of uplift. So I'm sure it's extended a lot farther out since then. But as Yellowstone rises up, it puts pressure on these fault systems. Puts pressure on the uh, Teton Pass fault system. Those of you that have watched me, followed me, We'll remember how I talked about that fault system by Jackson, Jackson Hole. How because of the uplift, it's shortening that fault system and creating more earthquakes. This 4.2 probably will create um, another earthquake, possibly down there by Salt Lake City. So those of you that live down there, you should be prepared along the Wasatch Fault Zone um, for a significant earthquake. It also probably could create an earthquake up along the Sawtooth Fault Zone. Kind of like a house of cards. When one is knocked out, you're going to have a reaction somewhere. Um, what I recently found and I posted on Twitter was that, according to a geologist, Glenn Thackeray, who was investigating the uh, 6.5 earthquake there in, along the Sawtooth Mountain Range, was that the reason they have so few permanent monitors to monitor earthquake is because of the lack of population and so there isn't a large amount of people that they're worried that anything will happen to so they just never put in any significant amount of permanent monitors according to glenn thackray central idaho region is a geolog geologically active and interesting area but is poorly understood Thackeray said research funding usually goes to places that are more densely populated where more people are at risk if a large earthquake happens. They didn't even know that the Sawtooth Mountains, until about 11 years ago, even had a fault zone that ran through it because of the lack of research. And I'll give you a link to that article. I keep saying how geology is 50 years, at least 50 years behind in other types of science research and <laughs> yeah there's another very good example they didn't know this major fault zone ran through there until about 11 years ago they found out later that that 6.5 was a left lateral movement it wasn't caused by uplift or the subsidence because of the um, stretching that's going along along these um, garbons they said it's an old at that time, inactive fault zone that recently has become reactivated. And there's been a lot of earthquakes there since that reactivation of the Sawtooth Fault Zone. And there's probably another fault zone that runs through here. You can see the earthquakes. We got 38 here within the last week. I would say more than likely the Salt Lake City area will probably have a large earthquake coming. I don't know when. But that's just my, my guess right now. They do have down here um, a 1.1. 1 .1, uh, what's that one? A 0 0.7. Let me zoom in on these. Okay, there's the 1.1. 1 .1, another 1.1. 1 .1, a 1.0. 1 um, a 1.0 also down there by Utah Lake. 
let's see we got three down there and those were on the 28th of december today is january 3rd 2021 there's been other earthquakes smaller ones that are marked out in red you can see one right here and where is it right there let me close this out um one right there it looks like and then i'll pull this up so you can see the other earthquakes when they're in red that means the computer picked it up see we got one right there and it's for the geologist to come in later and review it and they're supposed to let us know how large the earthquake was but that's not always the case and then we got the thickening of the lines that means that magma is on the move harmonic tremors let me go there look at the line of melt there let's look at the signature there yeah it doesn't show it very well let's see 1430 let's go there let's see if we can get a better image of what it looked like uh, 14 30 yeah just you can hardly tell but it's harmonic tremors so 2005 2033 and 2030 so i extracted here we got 2015 let me pull another time i got 2009 1941 shows it pretty good boom 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 yeah volcanic tremors and in my last report, I covered more about volcanic tremors and how they mean that uh, magma is on the move along with the gases, you know, both. And this is what it was showing when I pulled the files earlier. Let me close this so you can see. And I'll pull this over. There and over there. Let's take a look at this. Yep, blobs of magma on the move uh 1709 so here we have another earthquake that shows up on th three monitors i'll pull that just for fun to see where it was located all right 1106 universal time uh little thumb right there and we'll go to that location oh did something wrong hold on i put in north instead of um um, west so it's 44.437 north by 110.588 west and let's go and see where that one occurred now so often they say oh mary doesn't know what she's talking about these aren't earthquakes well i just discovered something with this new program that will show exactly that it was an earthquake no <laughs> um can't deny it there okay west thumb right there and i'll bring it out a little bit so you can see we got west thumb caldera remember that's a new caldera that was created oh maybe 162,000 to 150,000 years ago from a hydrothermal eruption anyways that's all i have for you right now yeah something new i learned about this program um I'll give you a link to the program if you want to fool around with it yourself. But if you have any thoughts or comments or questions, please put it down below. Thank you for watching. Like I said, I'm on Twitter and I'm also on Patreon. Please stay safe and I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.